Hi, Steve here. And uh, what I want to try today is um, I would like to tint the windshield on my Willie's gasser. I've got some Tamiya Acrylic X19. I haven't used it before. I know people are using this to uh, brush on their chrome parts to make them look more realistic. But I'm going to try this with for what it was made for. I've got some recycled plastic uh, containers here I'm going to practice on. I've got my Pache starter brush. I haven't had much luck with this thing in the past. It's been hard to uh, get it to spray anything. I've got my little color cup attached. It's about 25 uh, PSI. I'm just going to try a little bit of distilled water in here. A couple of drops there just to spraying very lightly the water. So I'll dump that out. And I'm just going to, I don't have any droppers to put this in with. I'm going to try pouring it. I'm just going to pause this for a minute and back. I poured a little bit of the Tamiya Acrylic Smoke X19 into the color cup. It's not spraying. So I've added a little bit of distilled water. And if you can see it, it's about half full. And I mixed up the paint a little bit with my mixer. It's pretty watery. And I've got my compressor at 25 psi. I don't know what it is with this airbrush, it just doesn't seem to want to uh, pick up the paint. It doesn't want to the paint go through it. It just seems like there's nothing coming out at all. You're there. But there's no paint. The paint just doesn't find a flow. I've got it uh, pretty much. I open it up some more. It's almost all the way open. It is clean. Open it up some more. Nothing. That's uh, open as far as it'll go. You can see the. You can see the paint in there. It's just not coming out. I have to switch to the Pash H to get it to work. I think. Back in a minute. Yeah, back again. I've got the nozzle off the uh, starter brush. I'm passing a little. Take through it, it's, it's clean. And the nozzle, I pushed some uh, uh, Q tip dipped in windshield washer fluid. It, it's not blocked. I don't know why the, the brush won't pick up paint. I'm going to set that aside. Wash it off later. I don't lose the parts here. And I'm going to put the color cup onto my Pache H. Connect my airbrush. There's the point. Got my Pache H. The color cup on that. I believe I have a number three nozzle on there. 
color, I painted still in the color cup here. Number three, I just have some newspaper here. You can, if you can see it here, it's uh, it's spring. Oh, the light gray. You can see it there. So we'll go ahead and practice that on this piece of lid here that I have. I'll turn my fan on. it down too much. Hmm. I'm not sure if it needs to be even thinned or not at all. I've never used this before. It comes out pretty fast. Close the nozzle up a bit more. going on kind of bubbly at, at the moment. You can, it's hard to see probably. It doesn't seem to be working that well, but it's hard to tell. It is showing up gray on the paper towel. You just have to try very lightly. Maybe we we'll add some more paint and uh, try it again. Come back in a minute. Okay, so I poured out the stuff that was in the color cup into this little container, and that was diluted a little bit. And I poured in just the straight paint back into the color cup, and just about a quarter full. See this here where my thumb is. You can see it's going on there. So try it on this piece here. It's not too bad. The air pressure seems to be pretty high. We got it down to about 23. So I'm going to act, try to paint the actual part, which is the interior windshield. I'm going to try spraying it on the inside of the plastic going to hold it and hope for the best. And put a grip on it here.
slowly getting a little grayer. Open up the nozzle a bit more. Let that sit for a minute. And then we'll be back. And I popped off the color cup with the paint I took out before. Starting to show a little bit grayer. So that my Q tip dipped in into a wash of fluid. Clean the tip a bit. Graying up a little bit, the long slow process, I guess. Take a few layers, I guess. You can see that on there. But uh, keep at it and uh, come back in a minute. So I'm back. I've layered on a few coats. Uh, used up what was in the color cup. I kept layering it on and layering it on slowly. Um, I'm not known for my patience. So it looks like there may be a few little runs there. Um, Hopefully it'll look okay when it's on the car. Like that, I just, I just wanted it fairly dark so you couldn't see inside. And the runs are mostly into the corners. They're kind of built up a bit in the corners. Uh, yeah, so I'll try that. You say when the spraying the sides, they're kind of built up in the corners. So, well, that's showing, but with the back, uh, white background. That should look good. So I'm gonna, I guess I should let that dry for a while and then seal it with something. And uh, I'll go off and clean my tips on my airbrush. And hopefully we'll be back soon to uh, finish this up. We're getting a little closer all the time, but there always seems to be one more thing to do. Thanks. Bye for now.